Till We Have Faces uh, is one of my favorite C.S. Lewis books, and it's one of his lesser known, lesser celebrated books, but he was quoted saying that he felt it was his most mature book that he'd ever written. And what I love about it is, uh, for people that listen to my music, you guys know that I'm a mythology nerd, um, and it, it talks about the story of Cupid and Psyche, but it's told through Psyche's sister's point of view. And you know, it's not, these songs aren't retellings as much as they are the things that meant the most to me from the books, that moved me. I just sort of, you know, make a new work out of it. Um, what I, I love so much about the book is it talks about this relationship that Cupid and Psyche had that Psyche's sister was jealous of. And she essentially took Psyche away um, from the god that she loved and who loved her um, because she was, was, she was jealous and she, it, it, she didn't even know that she was being so jealous in how she was trying to win her sister back. And that's how a lot of, you know, it doesn't have to be just with believers, but I, wh what I look at is, you know, when, when someone is so close to God, and their lives are so lost in him that there are times that I get jealous of that and I almost want their sort of worldly attention back, you know, and that's a terrible thing to want, you know, they're getting close, closest to the thing that matters most and the people who are sort of left in the lurch who, you know, I, I can't get there mentally, spiritually. Um, and, and it doesn't have to be, you know, it, it could be the people who are taking, you know, school seriously and they're making good grades, or, you know, the people who, you know, are, are being responsible with their job or people who are being responsible parents or, you know, responsible boyfriends or girlfriends or things like that that just take you, take them away from you in whatever way you enjoyed having them around the most. And there's jealousy that is connected with that. And there's a jealousy of the divine in, in a lot of ways because we want the attention of the, and, and maybe we're just sad that we're not in the same place that they are, the same spiritual headspace. But, um, you know, there are just some amazing lines. And, you know, it says, you know, uh, sometimes we may uh, hear a man's voice and mistake it for a God's, but no one ever hears a God's voice and mistakes it for a man's. And I, just the idea of, you know, we may hear, you know, false prophets and preachers saying things about God and we may love them so much and build them up so much that we may almost mistake them for a godlike person but you're never going to hear the voice of God and mistake it for some dude um, I love Till We Have Faces I think it's one of his most amazing works and it's one of my favorite songs on the album and it was done in a 3-4 kind of waltzy fashion uh, I, just, I just love the song